What do the Lions need to do to get a win in Baltimore on Sunday? We talk about it right now. You are Locked On Lions, your daily Detroit Lions podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's good, everybody? Matt Derry with you. It's a Friday edition of Locked On Lions. Right here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day, Friday, October 20th into Saturday, October 21st. Thanks for checking us out wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for watching us on our Locked On Lions YouTube channel. Shout out to our everydayers who are out there who watch or listen. We appreciate you. That includes my main man, my new BFF, the one and only Zach Castle. I met Zach last night. Uh, at a local establishment on the east side. And Zach came up, said, I'm a U of D cub. I know you taught the school there. I want to say hello, big listener, big fan. Appreciate Zach so much. Then he introduced me to his brother, Jake, who's getting married tonight in Macomb County. Good luck, Jake Castle. You got this. And your beautiful fiance, soon to be wife, Katie. So uh, shout out to the Castle fam. Everydayers were with us each and every day right here on Locked on Lions. You can follow us on Twitter at Dairy Speaks, at Lockdown Lions on Twitter, the Matt Dairy Facebook fan page. We're on threads as well. And like I mentioned, on our Lockdown Lions YouTube channel. Lockdown Lions today, proudly brought to you by Prize Picks, the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Go to prizepicks.com slash lockdown NFL and use the code all lowercase lockdown NFL for a first deposit match up to $100. On the show today, Let's talk a little expectations for Sunday. We got injury updates to give you. Good news on some players, bad on others. A few things to watch for for su- in Sunday's game. And we are going to talk with Noah Taluki on the show. Noah is one of my former students at U of D Jesuit High School. He is the current, one of the current interns for media relations with the Ravens. Huge Lions fan in Baltimore. We'll be at the game on Sunday. We'll get Noah on the show just tell his story a little bit. It's a great story of a Lions fan working for uh, for the Ravens uh, in their media relations. He's a great kid, and we're going to get Noah on uh, coming up. All right, huge game on Sunday. Why is it huge? Because the Lions are playing a real quarterback. They're playing a really good opponent on Sunday. All right, some people, including Colin Cowherd earlier this week in his herd hierarchy, have the Ravens as a top five team in the league. All right, they're four and two. Might not have as good of a record as Kansas City. Or, or or the Lions or Philly or San Francisco or any, or even Miami. But people like Colin Coward and other NFL experts believe that when Lamar Jackson's on and his young receivers start making some plays and they're running the football and, and they're winning up front on both uh, sides of the ball, especially on their defensive and offensive lines, that Baltimore can be really, really dangerous and the best team in the AFC North and one of the best teams in the AFC. They're well coached, always good in the kicking game, got the best kicker in the league in Justin Tucker. Unfortunately, as Lions fans, we know all about that. And uh, Sunday is not going to be an easy game. And I was thinking about this driving home from work today. You know, the Lions are off to an incredible start, right? This town is just jacked. So excited. They're 5-1. and one. They've won every road game they've played. All right, their one loss, they easily could have won. They would have just gotten one or two stops against Seattle or even won the damn coin flip in overtime. They could be 6-0. and oh. They could be the only undefeated team in the league. The last three or four weeks, nobody's competed with the Lions. Oh, it's going to be a tough game against Atlanta. They're hot. Blowout. Lions win. Oh, Green Bay on the road. Never going to be easy. Blowout. Lions win. Oh, Carolina. Trap game. Blowout. Lions win. Lions got to go to Tampa. You know how Todd Bowles' defense is. They've had a full week off, uh, two weeks off or a week off and uh, two weeks to prepare. Creamsicle uniforms. Blowout Lions win. All right. They've dominated. <laughs> Our Detroit Lions have dominated the past few weeks. It's been awesome to watch. But you know what I was thinking driving home? And I predicted if you watched the, the, the crossover with Kevin Ostriker yesterday of Lockdown Ravens, I picked the Lions to win. But if they don't win, I'm not going to get on here Sunday in the postgame pod and go ballistic. Unless there's an egregious error by the officiating, by the officials, 
or coaches mess something up or something happens. Other than that, I've lowered my expectations for Sunday. Maybe I'm a wuss. Maybe I'm off base. But if the Lions lost Sunday and played well and just, look, they got beat, I'm not going to be that upset about it. I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, my God, how could the Lions lose? Oh, my God, they should have been six. No, I'm probably not going to do that. Baltimore's good. The Ravens are a good team. All right, Lamar Jackson is a legit quarterback in this league. He makes legit quarterback money. He makes plays. He's their leading passer. He's their leading rusher. He's tough to bottle up. Is he the greatest thrower in the world? No. But the last few weeks, the Lions have played the likes of Bryce Young, Justin, uh, 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 no, I said Justin Fields, Jordan Love, Baker Mayfield, Desmond Ritter. His quarterbacks aren't any good. They're facing a legit veteran quarterback this week, a head coach that's been to the Super Bowl, um, an organization that's won Super Bowls. Terrell Suggs is being honored in the, in the Ravens Ring of Honor. I mean, there's a history behind Baltimore. They're, they're, they're good every year, even when they don't have the greatest roster. They find ways to find guys who step up and improve. All right? Their defense is always tough, whether it's Roquan Smith or Justin Matabike or, whom, or Ray Lewis or Terrell Suggs or whomever. Always have a good defense. So... I'm I'm lowering the expectations a little bit because I don't think the Lions are going to go a perfect 8-0 on the road this year. You lose games in this league. You have clunkers. Last year, Lions went into Charlotte and the Carolina Panthers obliterated the Lions. The Lions had a clunker. I'm not calling for a clunker Sunday, but I'm just telling you, if they were to play pretty well, play hard, come up short, I promise you I'm not going to be upset about it. I, I'm not going to go crazy over a loss to the Baltimore Ravens, who are a good team. Because I look at the schedule coming up after this, I see a lot of wins. I do. As long as they keep this quarterback upright and healthy, keep their top receiver upright and healthy, I see a lot of wins. I see a team that can do a lot of good. But Baltimore is tough. Now, Ravens are coming back from London. Might be a little bit jet-lagged. Might not play well. Lions might win. All right. I picked them to win. I think they can win. But I'm lowering the bar a little bit for Sunday because that's the NFL. I don't, I don't, I'm not predicting 16 and one here. I'm not predicting 15 and two. There's going to be a couple losses in there. And I think this could be one of them. Do I have a weird feeling they're going to win? Yeah, I do. They're playing that well. They are that together. They are that buttoned up. They are that physical. But um, Baltimore has a good team. They pound the ball. They pound the rock like the Lions do. They, Todd Munkin, their new offensive coordinator, is better than what they've had. Right? Their defense is stingy. And again, I know the Ravens have not had a great schedule so far. I know they haven't played great teams. I mean, heck, you know, they played the Browns without Watson. Uh, last week they played Tennessee, who's a who's an awful offensively. Um, you know, the their their the two losses. One was to the Colts, where quite honestly, the Ravens just had a bad turnover day on the road, nearly won that game in overtime, and um or late, and then lost to the Steelers in a close game where Kenny Pickett made one throw, basically, to Pickens, and they lost that game. Otherwise, I see this being um, a better performance by the Ravens and, and, a, and a tough game for the Lions. But ride the wave. They're playing great. I hope I'm, you know, I picked them to win, but I'm also lowering the bar a little bit on Sunday. I can't get mad. I can't get out here and get mad about losing to Baltimore, if that makes any sense. All right. We got to get you the uh, injury update coming up next. We got a lot to uh, discuss here on the uh, program, right here on Locked On Lions, right here on the uh, Locked On Podcast Network. Indeed, your team every day. Uh, Like I said, we'll get you some of those uh, injuries and everything else. We got to tell you, though, about our friends at Jace Medical. All right, the Jace case is out there. What what does it do? It provides five life-saving antibiotics for emergency use. All it takes to get a Jace case is to fill out a simple online form. And in some cases, 
Jump on a quick call with one of our board certified physicians. Get ongoing care from physicians on any treatment related questions at Jace. Doctor created, doctor recommended. Don't be caught unprepared. Everybody should be empowered to care for themselves and their loved ones during the unexpected. And what Jace does is they handle everything from online evaluation to licensed pharmacy medication delivery and ongoing consultation and care. All right. The Jace case is fantastic. All right. And the great thing is about the Jace case is it's personalized emergency medication. It's a kit that contains five essential antibiotics that treat the most common and deadly bacterial infections. You can also customize your case and add additional life, additional life-saving medications based on your unique, unique needs. It's simple. Go to jacemedical.com, enter code LOCKDOWN to check out for a $20 discount on your order. That's promo code LOCKDOWN at J-A-S-E medical.com. And what about our friends at FanDuel? Baseball playoffs going on right now. NBA about to start. NHL already underway. Uh, what did I hear uh, Valeni say today? He likes the New York Islanders tonight. There you go. Want to bet on some hockey or the NFL? Step into the action with a FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet at FanDuel. That's $200 in bonus bets, win or lose. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get on the action right now. It's easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options that include spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. So go to the website, fanduel.com slash locked on and kick off the NFL season. Fanduel.com slash locked on, Fanduel official partner of the NFL. Whew. All right, back on Locked On Lions right here on a Friday edition. Noah Taluki from the Ravens Media Relations Department. He is a Detroit native from Gross Eel and U of D High. And uh, Noah is a Ravens intern. We're going to get him on the program coming up. Got a few things, uh, uh, keys and what to watch for. All right, but following all of this right now is the big story that we know we knew this was going to happen. David Montgomery is not going to play. Uh, didn't practice all week and was ruled out this afternoon with that rib injury. So in his stead, Jameer Gibbs is going to be getting a bevy of carries. Hmm. A lot of carries, according to Dan Campbell. Jameer Gibbs today was taken off the injury list, which is a good sign. He has missed the last two weeks with that hamstring injury. Jameer Gibbs back, and we'll get a bulk of the carries. And also, Craig Reynolds, come on, Craig, is uh, questionable with a hamstring injury himself and a toe problem. So I think Craig Reynolds will play, but I think Jameer Gibbs will get a Lay, uh, uh, you know, most of the carries coming up on Sunday. Also, Jonah Jackson, ankle injury, also ruled out. Second straight week, with the Lions, very good left guard, will not play. So uh, in his stead last week, uh, Coyote Owashika, Owashika uh, played and played pretty well. Lions have good depth along the offensive line as of late. Remember preseason, we were killing the offensive line for how poor they played. And really, we were concerned about the depth. Well, Vitae goes down. Glasgow comes and plays well. Uh, Jackson goes down. Awoshika plays well. Uh, 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 Decker gets hurt. Sewell moves to the left side. Nelson gets hurt. Um, Skipper gets hurt. All these guys get hurt. And the Lions have survived it. All right? Kudos to Hank Fraley, the Lions offensive line coach. He's done a whale of a job. So... Never, never a good sign when you don't have Jonah Jackson against a very good Ravens D line, but uh, he's out, and that's the news from today. James Mitchell, Josh Pascal, Craig Reynolds, come on, Craig, uh, all listed as questionable for Sunday's game. We'll see. Good news: Brian Branch back off the injury report and ready to go Sunday against the Ravens. That is huge. Huge news. We love seeing that. Branch, the rookie safety, a nickelback, has missed the last two weeks with the ankle injury. Brian Branch is back. Frank Ragnow, Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs, Teddy Bridgewater, also all off the injury report, all ready to play Sunday against the Ravens. That you love to see. What to watch for? Lamar Jackson running the ball. All right. Huge part of this game. Lions have done a nice job in keeping Mahomes contained for the most part in week one. 
Geno Smith, not so much in week two, but you know, whether it was Ritter or others, Jordan Love can move a little bit. Lions have done nice job nicely. This is a different bird here with Jackson. Lamar Jackson getting out wide, Lamar Jackson breaking some contain, getting around the Lions linebackers could make for a long day. Those third downs where the Lions do a good job on the Ravens receivers, and they will. All right. I'm not, I think Zay Flowers is good. I'm not scared of Odell Beckham or Bateman. I don't think their receivers are great. All right. Flowers has been a nice looking rookie. The guy that bugs me is Mark Andrews in the slot down the, down the seam as the tight end. And Jackson, you know, on some third downs, making plays with his legs. That's something to watch. The other thing I want to watch for too is um, play action against the Ravens linebackers because Smith and some of the others do a very good job uh, in pass coverage. Kyle Van Noy, yes, KVN is on the Ravens. Lions play action, Lions defense against Jackson in the run game. A few things to watch that are going to be key in this game uh, coming up on Sunday. Lions have got to take care of business and um, contain Jackson. Right? He's their leading rusher. And I know they got Gus Edwards and the other young kid and, you know, Dobbins is hurt, but Lamar with his legs can cause major problems and really you know, demoralize a defense with the way that uh, the way that he runs the football. So let's see that, how that goes on Sunday. I'm excited to see how the Lions adapt and what, um, you know, just the Lions defensive staff, Aaron Glenn and the staff have planned for Lamar Jackson. All right, Noah Taluki is going to join us next. He works for the Ravens. He's a Detroit native. I still think the Lions win by one. I'm sticking with my prediction. We're brought to you by Prize Picks. Oh my goodness gracious, nothing better than making some money. All right, and putting some money down, but not just on games, but on actual individual players, right? You against the numbers. All right, if you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections at prize picks, you watch the winnings roll in. It is that easy. You test your skills on prize picks this season. You could turn 10 bucks into $250 with just a few taps. Jameer Gibbs, more than less than 50 yards rushing. What are you going to put some money on? What about Odell? Is Odell going to catch the ball four times more, more for more than or less than four catches? Mark Andrews numbers, whatever you want to do, you can bet at prizepicks.com. It's fun, and it's you against the projections, not against anybody else, all right? Go to prizepicks.com slash NFL. Use the code LOCKDOWNNFL for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash LOCKDOWNNFL. Prize Picks daily fantasy sports made easy. And hey, we also got to tell you about our friends at DoorDash. Who's going to be hungry on Sunday? And nobody wants to get out of their seat, out of their chair, wherever you are, to get food, right? You do not want to do that. Not a chance. That's why you got instead DoorDash, right? Game goes to a timeout. Time to order up with DoorDash. Halftime, same thing. Ordering time, two-minute warning, whatever it is, you got it. That's your cue to order in. Whenever the game clock stops, that's the time to order in with DoorDash, pizza, wings, soda, burgers, or even just buns. You can get them on DoorDash and get it all delivered without missing the game. All of your favorite restaurants and stores from retail to grocery are on the app. So you can shop everything you need to get game day ready. Go up, get up to a 50% off a $10 value when you spend $15 or more on your first order when you download the DoorDash app. Enter code LOCKED23. Subject to change. Terms apply. All right, folks. Uh, our guest has been waiting a long time to be on this podcast. He's a uh, great, great young man. And uh, I I've called this game during this week, the Lions and Ravens, the Taluki Bowl, because Noah Taluki is a longtime Detroit Lions fan, um, huge backer of the team, and now uh, interning this year with the media relations department with the Ravens. So the Ravens own Noah Taluki is on the uh, program today. Noah, great to see you, bud. Oh, it's great to see you, Matt. And, and I got to say, when when you were my teacher at, at University of Detroit Jesuit High School, you, you started doing this in 2016. Yeah. I, you know, when I had you as a teacher, I remember, you know, you'd record 
the the podcast after after school and all that, and I'd ask you about it a lot. And um, so I've I've been I've been a loyal listener since the beginning, um, and uh, I've always always supported Locked On Lions. And uh, ever since 2016, I'm like, you know what? One day there's going to yep. be a chance where I get to come on as a guest. And finally, you know, seven years later, it's finally happening. So I'm so so excited for that. Well, great to have you. Proud of you and everything that you've done. Uh, you run at John Carroll and everything that you did. But now you have this opportunity. You've always wanted to work in the NFL. How did you get this uh, gig with the Ravens? You know what? It's it's crazy, Matt. It's just because working in the NFL, you know, you, you have to keep your options open. You know, you can't really just target, you know, one or two teams. If you want to get a start, you have to really, you know, just put, put yourself out there and, and put yourself in the pot. And I, I think I, I applied for, you know, 12, 15 with 12 or 15 different teams. And, um, you know, the Ravens were one of them and, and just so fortunate and blessed to, for this opportunity to, to work in the NFL. And, and they gave me a chance, you know, I, I went through a lot of interviews with them and, um, they're just such a such a great staff and and just really an incredible organization here that that really really cares about the person and it really wants to see you succeed. Um, and everyone's just so friendly here. It's 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 so world class and it's just it just speaks to you know the the culture that um, you know Coach Harbaugh has built and Ozzie Newsom and Eric DaCosta and and you know our our Modelo before you know Steve Bashotti uh, owned the team. So it's um you know it's it's just it's incredible. Here. You knew not to mention Art Modell in front of me. Come on now. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I, I had to. I had to, but I was just I was thinking about the, the history of the organization as well. Yes. <laughs> oh no, it's 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 been a first class operation. So as a media relations intern, when did you start and, and what are your uh day-to-day responsibilities? Mm-hmm. So I, I started back uh in early June uh of the of this year. Uh, and it'll run through May. Um, so it's a full year. It even goes beyond when the season ends. So I'll, I'll be with the team um, during free agency and then the draft and all that. Um, and it's a lot of the day-to-day stuff, um, you know, like doing, um, you know, kind of compiling different clips uh, of, of for, uh, you know, different media organizations and seeing what's what's being written about the team. Um, you know, that's a, that's a big one that I do. Uh, and then hand, helping handle press conferences every day. Uh, every time Coach Harbaugh or, or uh, any of the players speak, um, I'm there uh, off to the side, um, transcri- uh, transcribing afterwards, um, you know, what they said. So any any media can copy and paste uh, all that stuff that that we put together for them. I, I assist with um, open locker room uh, a couple times a week as well. Um, you know, I last couple weeks I've been interviewing a couple players for some of our um, like, like fun questions and answers that we do on our um, on our website. So, um, you know, it's it's just been really, really cool to, to just get that experience. Noah Taluki, a uh, native of Gross Eel, Michigan. Uh, John Carroll grad, you have the high grad, and of course, so now with the Ravens, but longtime Lions fan. What's what's Sunday going to be like? Because you've been rooting for the Ravens and you've been watching from the Lions from afar, but now, what what's Sunday going to be like for you? It's it's going to be an emotional roller coaster, that's for sure. Just just seeing, you know, it, it's just funny because I was I was looking at like who's going to be at the game and all that from the Lions, and I'm like. Oh wow, Dave Burkett and 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 all these all these wonderful people that you've had on the podcast, Matt, that I that oh, yeah. I've listened to over the years. And um, you know, just all the people from like lions.com and and all that and, and who's who's gonna be on the field, who's in the press box. It's just it's just kind of a, a whirlwind of just seeing that all of a sudden um, you know, taking place and um and I'm just you know, it's it's gonna be really, really fun to just see that all um, you know, come together and seeing uh, Dan Campbell on the sidelines and seeing, um, you know, uh, Jared Goff and and all these players, um, you know, for the Lions, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty incredible. And uh, I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. Um, My my parents are going to be at the game um, as well. And so I'm just, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to look around and, and just, and do my job of course, but, but make sure to make sure to take, take it all in because it only happens every four years that the Ravens play the Lions. Um, And it just feels fortunate enough that it happened to be, this, you know, like this year that they were able to play them when, when I was interning here in Baltimore. Is there somebody you want to see? Like, I mean, you you have access to all these Detroit media members and voices of the team. And all, I mean, you going up to anybody specific that you want to just introduce yourself to? Uh, you know, I, I think a, a lot of them I'll try, I'll try to meet for the first, I mean, a couple of them I've met before, like, um, you know, when I, when I did that podcast for the Detroit sports podcast network for a little bit, um, with John Macroon and the folks, uh, yeah. my own, it was called a uh, lock or, um, I was, not, I was about to say lockdown lines. Uh, no, it's called open mic night and I don't do it as much anymore, but, 
uh, I did have a couple of the Detroit media members on uh, mm-hmm. Lomas Brown, I, I, you know, a uh, color commentator for, yeah. um, for Lion, uh, the Lions. And then I had uh, Dave Burkett on a few times too. So um, hoping to, hoping to see them. Uh, yeah. Dan, like Dan Miller, that's another guy um, in Lomas in, in the radio booth. I think TJ will, TJ will be on the sidelines. Um, you know, listen to him on uh, Mike Valeni every week too. So oh, yeah, it was just, like I said, just taking it all in and, and meeting as many people as, as, as I can. I right, final question. What's, you know, you mentioned before about the Ravens, and obviously we, we talk so much about the Lions every day on this show, but from a Ravens perspective, what are they all about? What, uh, you know, how do they prepare, you know, for games? And, and what do you see? What's the biggest takeaway from working for that organization that you have? It's it's the culture. I mean, hands down. I mean, you can just, from day one when I started in June, it, it was just, you could tell. You know, you could tell how friendly people were here and, and just how – especially like when it comes to media relations, you know, how great, you know, the PR staff with the Ravens is with, with the media here. And it's a, it's a good group of, of people, of people in Baltimore, about, about 15 or so that, that cover the Ravens on a daily basis. Um, so it's been really, um, really classy um, from that end. And just, um, just being able to interact um, with players and coaches and, um, you know, coach Harbaugh from, from Michigan and all that too. It's, um, you know, it's, it's pretty incredible. Just, just, taking it all in and it's just like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm working, it's, I'm in the NFL. So um, and you got that's a, uh, cold, cold been the biggest. Mm-hmm. And it's a great organization to be a part of. And you're, uh, there's not many of these jobs and you've got one of them. So uh, congrats on everything, Noah, and uh, have fun on Sunday, man. You, you gotta be focused on your job, but yeah. uh, try to have some fun too, as well. I, I will. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matt. It's it's truly an honor and a privilege uh, to to be on Lockdown Lions. Oh man, no, you were there when the, you were you were there when I started it in in, in sixteen. Um, and so here we are in twenty twenty three. But uh, you're the best, man. Good luck. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. All right, Noah Taluki with us from the Ravens as uh, one of the members of the uh, media relations intern team for this uh, season. That is the Friday edition of Lockdown Lions. Back again Sunday with a post game pod. Hopefully talking about a lion's win.